and Dream RJ here. Uh, today I'm going to do another tutorial video uh, but this time we're going to do it on uh, making a custom image and uh, making it usable in Portal 2 in Hammer and showing you the steps you need to take in order to uh, put it in Hammer and into your Portal 2 maps. So it's, it might be a long uh, tutorial this one so you'll have to bear with me and I might make a few mistakes so if I do then uh, then you know just I'll apologise in advance <laughs> it's because it's been a while since I've done uh, I've, I've done this so yeah basically first of all I will just say that you, you do actually need two programs uh, when you do custom images uh, for Hammer and one of the programs you need is VTF Edit and you can actually download that by going to uh, this website here nemses.thewavelength.net and basically you, do, or you just do a google search for T, T, VTF Edit and then you should be able to find this website uh, and then you just download it and install it and this is a very important tool when it comes to making the images in to, to be able to be imported into Hammer. So first of all what you need to do is you actually need to go and make an image that you want to uh, you know Im Im import into Hammer. So first thing you need to do is you just need to go into a program so I'll just use paint.net it's the main pro paint program I use. I don't like uh, Photoshop, I've just preferred paint.net me. Uh, so, okay. So let's just resize this, the canvas size. So it's, we'll make it, we'll make it 128 by 128. Remember, when, you do, when you're doing hammer things, you need to keep it in increments of, of twos. Uh, for the for the for the pixels and for hammer. Well, really, when when you're doing an image, you need to. I think I think to be perfectly honest, I think you should keep it to between 32 units minimum. So 32 minimum width, 32 minimum height in pixels. So then click OK. Now, as you can see, we've got a we've got a nice thing here. Uh, so I'm just going to make this bit transparent like that. I mean, you know, it, it's very complex. It, you, it it can be very complex making images because then you've got to work out how you make them transparent. And VTF Edit, you can do that in VTF Edit, but it's a bit more pain. It's a bit more of a pain. It's a bit more painful uh, to do that. I mean, I've done that, but it's just a bit more painful to do that. So basically, you just want to create an image. So let's just write some uh, random text. So we'll use impact it's one of my favorite texts and then we'll make it bold we'll make it a bit bigger so I'll go 48 and then we'll just go to type I don't know test okay we'll just type test like so and as you can see we've got a, we've got a, an image test so you know what I'll, what I'll do is I'll actually make it test. I'll just repeat it so it's test test, and I make it a bit smaller, 36. Okay. So there we have that. So then what we want to do is we want to save it. So first of all, what I'll do is I'll save it in the actual uh, portal 2 map where you meant to save them so let me just look for the shark there is portal 2 folder where's my folder my folder's not there. Hmm. My folder's not there.
Oh, there it is. Okay. So I'll save it in here. And I'll just save it in my lucky RJ folder. Okay. So I just I just keep it as a as a PNG, uh, but you you should really do a TGA. So I'll do a TGA just because it's it's best for VTF Edit TGAs. So we'll save it as a TGA into my lucky folder into the materials folder in Portal Two Portal Two materials lucky RJ. So we save that, and then we just need to make it auto auto detect in Paint.net. If you're using Photoshop, I don't know it might be different. So because I don't use Photoshop, I can't export. I can't uh, explain Photoshop. So sorry about that for the people that use Photoshop. Uh, so we've got the image now. We've got the image made. So now what we need to do is we need to open that image in VTF Edit. So open, or maybe it's import actually. Hang on, it's been a while since I've used this program, so it might. Yeah, it's this one. Yeah. So uh, we go back to the desktop, and it's a cheat because I, what I've got is I've got some nice little shortcuts to the folder, so I can just double click it and I go straight to the folder, which is very useful, very handy. Saves manually searching. Okay, so there's our image test.tga, and we're just opening it. So then basically, in when when you first use this, because if you don't know what you're doing, it's best just to, to just to click OK on this one. So what we'll do is we'll just click OK for now. And as you can see we've got the image showing up in VTF Edit. So this is where it comes the the bit that's that that matters. What we need to do is we need to, to then create a VMT file for the VTF file. But first of all what we need to do is we need to save this VTF file and we'll just name it a test test.vtf. So then we're saving that as test test.vtf and then what we do is go to create VMT file and as you can see we've got different things here and we've got options. So we want it translucent and light map generic. Uh, maybe we should do decal. We'll just keep it as that for now if it doesn't work we can just change it. And then we'll just keep it as translucent and these are just so you can add different things to them, but what we'll do, we'll just leave it as this for now to see if this, how this works out. So create, and then you, it just puts it into the same place, and then save, like so. And then what we need to do is we need to just, I just minimize that, and then what we need to do is we'll go into hammer, like so. And then we're going to open the tutorial a map up that I made. Remember that tutorial map in the previous videos? So as you can see we're now in uh, in the tutorial map. <laughs> I've still got the bits and pieces in it. So then what you do is you click on the uh, not that text. <laughs> okay I think it's this one. Wasn't it? Yeah, that was the one. <laughs> the overlay button, which is this one. And, God, it's been a while. And then browse. And then what you need to do is you need to look for the test. As you can see, there it is. So we double click it and click it into the world. And there we go. As you can see, we've now got a custom image uh, in Portal 2. And then what you do, you just pull it into position like that. Let's let, let's press shift and control and drag it so we'll make multiple versions of it like so and as you can see because I made it 128 by 128 uh, it fits nicely in one of these blocks which is very useful so that's why it's very important to keep it in, in, in units of twos they uh, like, you know, 32s, 64s, one, you know, 96, I think, 128, uh, and so on and so forth. Uh, and that way you don't run into any issues. So then what you do is you need to then compile this map. So we'll run map. And. The 
next step is what well, I'll tell you in a minute about is the Packrat program that you then need to use uh, to compile and, and to, to basically put the map inside the you know put the put the new texture and the new VTF and the new VMT files inside the B PSP for file for you know the compiled PSP BSP file so there you go as you can see you can now see the the text on the wall from the custom custom air picture so it's 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 a bit straightforward uh, but it, but the VTF uh, edit program uh, it, when you want to do some more complex stuff like for glass textures and stuff like that it, it can be more uh, complex and I won't explain that in the tutorial because it's very hard and I don't really understand it that well myself I mean I've, I've had I made some stuff for different uh, you know like textures and for, for glass and stuff like that but it's so hard uh, to get it right and then you've got to just mess about with the stuff with the settings uh, when you're making the VMT file uh, and so on and so forth so as you can see because I'm 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 testing this uh, client side this is not uh, you know globally so other people will not see this texture other people will just see that blue that black and purple uh, missing texture error uh, texture instead of this because they don't have it so basically what you need to do to add it inside your uh, thing is you need to use a program called Packrat so I'll just do a quick search so you can see I'll put these links into the into the what do you call it I put these links in in the description so you so you know where to get it from so there you go I think it's there yeah there we go so this is the link so you can basically get it from here Yeah, so yeah, you just just do a search in Google for Packrat, and you'll be able to find it, or, or just whatever. I will put this link in in the description in the in the YouTube video in this YouTube video, uh, so you know. So anyway, so <laughs> so yeah, so you need to go into the Packrat. Let's just close this compile screen, and you just need to open it up like so. And then, as you can see, you get you get like a little window here, uh, and this is basically it. you need to find the file. So we'll go back to the desktop, and we'll cheat again when we use that little shortcut thing, okay? And then what we're looking for is that tutorial map. So where is the tutorial map? There you go. I cheated. <laughs> so you open that up, right? And then you, when you've opened that the, the map up that you're working on, you'll see all of the files that are included in it already. So then, what you need to do is you need to just scan. Uh, I mean, auto press auto, and it'll see that it's just found two files that needs to be thinged. So you you, you click yes, add them to the pack. So then if you scroll down you can see there they are test test.vmt and test test.vtf. It's very clever and it automatically finds them and adds them. And then what you need to do is you just need to go to make sure this is a very important step. You need to go to file and then you need to save BSP and then just override it in, in the original place in, in the maps folder. So that's portal two portal two maps folder and then just save it and then just overwrite it and then it's done they're added now they're not blue so as you can see they added inside the, the 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 bsp file so now when you upload this bsp file to the workshop everyone will be able to see these two uh, 
you know the 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 new the new texture in in the game. So yeah, uh, that's basically how you do it. That's how you <laughs> how you make a custom texture for Portal 2 and incorporate it into Hammer. So I hope that was uh, helpful, and I hope uh, it helps you with uh, some nice custom content for Portal 2. And like I said, just just have a play around with a uh, with VTF edit, and you, there'll, there'll be other tutorials if you do searches in Google for you know more advanced VTF edit stuff. So just just do searches on Google, and you'll find more advanced stuff uh, to do with it. Uh, so thanks very much for watching, and please subscribe and comment and like and share, and uh, and if you've got any suggestions. Uh, for future videos please let me know in the comment section uh, oh, and don't forget about my twitter uh, dreamrj underscore uh, dream underscore rj <laughs> uh, and yeah have fun bye for now